Mary Meet, Annie here. This dreaming thing that is so much a part of the season of Samhain, it, it has its own share of sorrow. For the dreams that faded, no matter how we tried to hang on to them. For the times in our lives when we did not dare dream. For the times in our lives when we failed to nurture our dreams and what could have been never was. Some time ago, I added a poem to my meditations for this day. For after consideration of dreaming in the season of Samhain, I often felt myself mourning either my inability to dream or my sadness regarding dreams that had vanished in the fog. The poem is entitled Crone, and it is once again by Patricia Monahan, and again it's from her book, Seasons of the Witch. You can see how much I adore that book. And the poem is called Crone, and it goes. And hold a thought, if you will, in your mind of dreams that didn't happen and your sadness in relation to them. And then let's journey with the crone. In the center of every forest is a well of sweet water. By the time you reach it, you will be desperate with thirst. You will have been walking through the day and into the night, and the woods will have been growing darker around you, and you will have seen no water at all. And then, a clearing lit by silver light. You do not see her standing in the shadows. You cup your shaking hands and dip into the well, but a bony hand grasps yours. Shaken with surprise, you look up. She is veiled. From beneath the veil, she speaks. Her voice is full of the mystery of endings. She asks what you want. Water, you begin to say. Then your heart is flooded with memory and need. You remember losses and pain, driven days when you burned with yearning, bleak hopelessness of abandoned dreams. Your parched throat will not let you speak, and there is not time enough to answer, for what you desire has become immeasurably and inexpressibly vast. She is waiting. You stand wordless before her. She opens her arms to you, and suddenly she is all that you desire, arms to hold you, a breast to weep upon, a murmuring voice to sing in your ear, a softness that is more comfort than you have ever known. She is sweet water in the dark forest. She is abandoned dreams restored. She is all the world at once and all the time you need. This poem is an anthem to me of the times when the only thing I could turn to in life was my love of the goddess. When there was no comfort around me or within me, there was always, and I truly mean always, her love. I hope you enjoy that poem as much as I do. I might name it something like comfort or solace. Instead, it's simply named crone. I wish you mirth and reverence in the season of Samhain. Merry part.